here at TV Line, we noticed that there is such a huge reaction to Georgie and Mandy on TikTok and Instagram and all of these social networks. Are you guys also noticing a huge response to this relationship on your own feeds? Oh, TikTok is huge for Young Sheldon. All of Young Sheldon, not just of our, you know, our characters, but all of Young Sheldon is huge on TikTok and Facebook. I'm big on Facebook. <laughs> He's on Facebook and TikTok, and I'm just like on Instagram and Twitter. So we were MySpace. seeing. She's on MySpace. I'm not that old. <laughs> um. I'm Georgie. Mandy. And now that we're on a first name basis, I'm going to throw my underwear in here. And since I'm a gentleman, I ain't going to look. With Georgie and Mandy getting married soon, I thought it would be a good time not to just reflect on the Georgie and Mandy relationship, but also your relationship as scene partners and sort of the camaraderie you've built over the past three seasons. Emily, let's start with you. I'm curious, what was your initial impression of Montana when you guys first worked together that first week in season five? I think I asked like five different people if you were over 18. <laughs> because you looked so young and I was like, oh man, and I think I was 29 or 30 at the time, but I, I think you would have been 18. I think you would have been 18? just 18. And that was new for me. I mean, usually it goes the other way. Usually I'm like, how old is this guy? <laughs> um, so that was, it was refreshing, really. <laughs> we got a deal, Ashley. So <laughs> Montana, what about you? What was your initial reaction to Emily when you guys first started working together? How? Oh, um, Keep it clean. <laughs> very <laughs> professional. You just looked. I did. I think she plays her role well. I think the cast is right. And uh, <laughs> good. <laughs> no, I think she's great. Three years later, you think they cast it right. That's I good. Think good. Great. <laughs> great. It was interesting though, because for the first three months, I was only working with Montana and with Annie Potts. I hadn't met Ian, I hadn't worked with anybody else really. And so my storyline was very much specific to, you know, our thing happening and then connecting with Mima and, and connecting on the feminism element of our two characters. And that was great for me. And then suddenly I was at the dinner table with everybody. And that yeah. was the first time it really felt like I was a part of it. That's um, when it's get real. That's when those it dinner gets table real. Things, they take like 12 hours, so yeah. Baptism yeah. by file. It wasn't long after Mandy was introduced that we found out that she was pregnant. I'm pregnant. Emily, what was your initial reaction when you found out about this development? Great. I mean, this was an opportunity to do something I'd never done before. Um, I've, I've never played pregnant. I've never given birth on television. I've never had a child on television before. It was like a whole new sort of era for me, which was wonderful. But I didn't necessarily enjoy the uh, the baby belly. It was like 12 and a half pounds and it all cracked a rib at one point. She was uh, trying to keep the thing on me. I said, I don't want it. Yeah, well, you know, it's our child. I think you should have to wear it for a little while. <laughs> Montana, for you, before Mandy came along, you know, I think a lot of viewers probably saw you as one of the kids and then Mandy's pregnant, and suddenly Georgie is very quickly thrust into adulthood. Was that exciting for you, sort of seeing that evolution and, and getting more adult storylines? Yeah, I think it's nice to see. I think it's nice to see the struggle that they have, because people in real life, you know, they struggle with that too, having a kid at a young age. I'm excited to see this next thing, how they go about that, and, you know, what storylines they write for Georgie, and is he going to still be struggling with it, or, you know, what, what they're going to do with it. Georgie and Mandy have already been through so many milestones. There was the pregnancy, there was the birth, now they're getting married. Have you guys had any particular favorite Georgie and Mandy moments? Maybe it wasn't a milestone, but maybe uh, a more humorous storyline. Anything stick out to you guys? I really enjoyed the episode where we locked the uh, baby in the car. Oh yeah, that, that was, was a good one. Hey baby, this is normal. We're all okay. Pop, we're gonna get you out. How are we gonna get her out? I don't know. My parents always ask what episode we're working on this week or what's going on in the storyline because they watch the show and they love it. And I told them about us locking the baby in the car. And wow, they did that too, apparently. <laughs> I got locked in the there car a couple is. times. <laughs> so very relatable. You guys have known that you're going on to do this other thing and you're going to keep playing these characters in another show. We haven't known long. Well, we haven't known that it was official, but like that something was something. something something was brewing. That's almost worse, that like something is brewing that we don't know if it's going to happen. That was almost mm -hmm. more painful. But no, I mean, this these past like four months, we've just been focusing on, or I guess five months, 
Mm-hmm. Uh, we've just been focusing on the show and giving it everything that it deserves going out in its final season. And that we can only really focus on this right now because it's what's in front of us. And we're really excited to get going on something new. But I think, you know, it's only right to to really just give give Young Sheldon its, its, um, its day. What are the emotions like on set at this point? I mean, you guys are pretty close to being done, right? Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> yeah. We got a couple episodes left. Yeah. Uh, Lance, yeah. the dad, he's been showing up more often, so I think he's getting he's got a little family passionate. in town all the time. Yeah. Something's <laughs> going on with that. Everybody's visiting. I know. I think we're realizing it really is coming to a close, so we're trying to to soak up every minute of it. And Montana, obviously, so many of your stories the past couple of seasons have been sort of Georgie and Mandy focused. But as you come up on the end of Young Sheldon, the time that you have with Ian, with Reagan, is sort of coming to an end. How has it been watching them grow up in front of your eyes and seeing these young adults that they've become? Yeah, it's wild because um... You know, when I first started, well, even now, you know, I'm the youngest in real life. I got two older sisters. So being the oldest in the show, you know, it was nice to be able to have that older brother connection with them. And even in real life, I still have that older brother connection with them. These past seven years, we become, you know, real siblings in real life. And it's the siblings I always wanted. It's the younger siblings I always wanted. So I've loved it. Now, we've spoken about sort of your favorite Georgie and Mandy memories, but any behind the scenes stories, favorite Montana and Emily moments? I'm just trying to get you to drink water. Emily <laughs> <laughs> drinks sun kissed, and what else we got? It's just soda. My place. Cactus cooler. Oh, cactus cooler. I hear him shouting for a cactus cooler at like eight o'clock in the morning every day. Heck yeah. <laughs> Gotta get the day started. Yeah. So that's, it's really just me trying to raise him. I think it's my favorite. She's raising me. 